Hi guys, a uh, super quick video update because people really wanted it and were asking a lot of questions. Um, I hope this video answers a lot of people's questions. So, we really know now how to really build the transmitter as energy efficient as possible. And this is an explanation video of the math behind it, the principle, the theory, why, and why it's the best so far. So, this is the older model, which had coils that were both equal in length to each other. Um, that's the wrong way to do things after fully reviewing all the math. So, the correct way to do things, and why this is so efficient, is I'm building this new transmitter right now. And I figured I'd make this video real quick and answer all the questions. Um... So it's basically a two-coil transmitter, and it's wired exactly like a Jewel Thief, except the we, we make it air core, so it's hyper-efficient. And the reason it's so good, in theory, is we correctly wound the L1 coil. This is 28 gauge. And the L1 coil, we want it to be exactly a quarter wave of the L2 power coil that'll do all the work for us. Um, this is just our trigger coil. It's an L1 trigger coil. We want it to be exactly a quarter wave to the coil we wind over this. And this is 28 gauge. It'll be a third, a th it'll be a third the, the full length of our um, high Q coil that will be wound over this in the opposite direction. So the L2 coil will be 20 gauge wire, just because it's a good balance of high quality wire um, that gives you a high Q factor, and it's easy to work with. And your L2 power coil has to be wound in the opposite direction to your L1 trigger coil. When you wind your L2 power coil in the opposite direction, to your L1 trigger coil that gets your transistor into oscillation, um, what happens is you set up a very powerful standing wave, a standing quarter wave resonance between the L1 trigger coil and the power coil. And you open the transmitter up to magnification because if you plug in all the numbers to an AI chatbot or any form of advanced mathematical calculator, this transmitter is technically a very, very scaled-down model of Tesla's magnifying transmitter. And now, why would Tesla, who has invented countless different apparatus and inventions throughout his entire life, including the Tesla valve, I don't think he would have the audacity to name something a magnifying transmitter if it couldn't truly magnify power. So, being that both coils on this device are as wide as they are tall for maximum Q factor. We're already in a very good spot for um, wireless power effects and amazing phenomenon to occur. So basically the amazing effects come from that standing wave uh, resonance, that standing quarter wave resonance between the L1 and L2. So again, the L1 trigger coil is 28 gauge. You want it perfectly centered on your PVC coupler. This is a one inch diameter PVC pipe coupler. And it is a 28 gauge L1 trigger coil measuring exactly 8 sixteenths of an inch long. And then we will take our L2 power coil, which will be the highest practical gauge that you can work with being, um, I chose 20 gauge because it's the good balance to work with. And we'll wind it in the opposite direction to the L1. And winding it in the opposite direction to the L1 puts it 180 degrees out of phase with the L1. And that's very important because this device is dead simple. It's a single transistor oscillator. So having it 180 degrees out of phase with the opposite direction, winding the L2 opposite to the L1 trigger coil, it ensures we have powerful oscillations. Um, and now to properly harness the power you then need a two-part receiver coil. The key to this device working is um, you want your transmitter 
to be as high quality as possible, to take up the smallest space possible. You want the most intense field tension. You want the device to give off the most intense field tension in the smallest space possible um, to create aether tension or ether tension. And then you put the receiver coil, and you need a two-part receiver coil that's three to four times bigger than the transmitter, a bit of a space around it, and it sits over it like this. And that space is important because it decouples things, or decouples, however you want to say it or call it. Now, the reason we have the two-part receiver coil is the first part of the coil being orange, very high-quality wire, 20-gauge uh, wire, it is a sympathetic resonator. The first part of the receiver coil is a sympathetic resonator. It'll resonate and store an enormous high Q power factor, a very high Q um, wireless reactive power field in the orange coil. Now, the key to using to converting that the reactive power into real usable power is to then wind another coil directly over the resonator and you get it in tune and you need the coils exactly like this it's a minimum of a technically a four coil system um, in a way you could call it a three coil system just like Tesla's magnifying transmitter so we're building a mini magnifying transmitter here and really you can almost say you want to ignore in a way you can kinda of ignore the L1 because the L1 just sets up a perfect quarter wave trigger to get the L2 power coil that I didn't wind yet. This is how the L2 power coil will look. Very high quality. Um, the L1 trigger coil just serves to get the L2 power coil into perfect efficient resonant oscillation. So once that occurs you put your correct receiver coil over it and again it's a resonant style cage receiver coil and you want it bigger than the transmitter because space dilutes energy and we want to capture all the power possible around the device um, and again the high Q inner coil sets up a sympathetic resonance and you need the extra coil wound over the receiver coil to tap the massive amount of reactive power that the inner coil builds up and you can just do phenomenal things with it. The output, so far from what I've tell, can be equal to your transmitter's input. When you run heavy loads from here, um, power consumption from the transmitter will even drop. So this is in theory the best design because it's air core, the most efficient, single transistor driven. We can make it hyper efficient. <clears throat> Put a uh, certain components on it to make it even more efficient using... Um, using that little diode there. I always forget the name of it, but that's a good look at it. And that's just our biasing resistor. And I'm using a MJE-1307 transistor for faster switching. Gonna eventually switch to a BUL-49-something. It's the fa one of the fastest transistors you can get. It, then you'll have to transition to a MOSFET to get even faster. But, um, yeah. And we also perfected the energy synthesis equations um, from Eric Dollard so again I explained the theory how it works people were asking questions and you always ground the bottom the bottom leg of your L L2 coil your L2 power coil so L1 trigger coil 8 sixteenths of an inch long um, it's the L1 trigger coil Sets up oscillations 180 degrees out of phase with the L2 power coil. And it sets up a standing quarter wave resonance with the L2 power coil. You can check my last vids for this receiver coil outputting good power. And to collect it, because space dilutes energy, um, the transmitter is focusing energy into the smallest space possible for field tension. And then we collect what was focused into the smallest space possible with the special receiver coil and it needs to be a two-part receiver coil it's essential you can't do it otherwise because you'll put a load on the transmitter you need the sympathetic resonant coil here that's what was discovered 
um, in the outer yellow part of the coil converts that massive amount of reactive power into real power. And while this receiver coil outputs power equal to the transmitter's input power, you still have phenomenal loadless wireless power effects that will light up these little LED receiver lights, not put a strain on the transmitter, um, and you can also put distant receiver coils nearby, tune it with a ferrite rod, and get it to output a little bit of power. So, hopefully that answered some questions. Um, this is the way forward. Much more efficient than winding the coils on a ferrite, because it's air core. And yeah, I hope that answers people's questions. So feel free to like, comment, subscribe. I'm currently rebuilding the best transmitter possible. And I hope that answers everyone's questions. And again, you need every part of this system built exactly the way I said um, the print for the principles to work. And check out our, our posts on YouTube, our community posts for the energy synthesis equations refined. Very important. And thank you, everyone.